Right, so Monday morning, first job in. Uh, this is Dan's car. Dan's uh, been a good friend and fan of the business for a long while. Uh, we've been looking forward to doing something and this is gonna be a pretty special job because it's the first time that we have ever done forged carbon on a G-Wagon. Now, as you probably know, forged carbon is the, the style of crushed carbon that they use on Lamborghini uh, Performantes. Uh, and what we've done, we've developed our bull nose bonnet, our front splitter, our roof light bar, rear wing and rear wheel cover, all in forged carbon. So this is gonna be a pretty special build. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this build from beginning to end. And first things first, it's straight into the wash bay. Let's start with this. Brilliant blue G-Wagon. It's so nice to see something in a slightly different colour, isn't it? Obviously we do so many black yeah. G-Wagons, but this just looks awesome. It's even more special in that this is the first time that we've done a crushed, crushed carbon. Yeah, we don't want to call it a forged carbon because obviously legal ethics is at the top of our list at the moment. Um, that, that, that would be a good uh, clickbait title. Now we get sued for naming carbon the wrong name. Yeah, let's not get sued anymore. No. So, Forge style carbon kit, G-Wagon. Um, so it comes with our front splitter, it's got the bull nose bonnet, it's got the, the roof light bar, rear spoiler and rear wheel cover. And this one's obviously a bit more special because it's got our new tips on the exhaust, which we changed. Obviously we've changed over from normal carbon over to just like satin black ones. Uh, and this wouldn't go with forged carbon. I was going to say, that's nice that we've got those mix, now, yeah. because usually we've only got the two by two style carbon it, for the, yeah. the exhaust tips, but that's, that just looks good. Yeah, it does. Really, no, it, looks, it looks nice and crisp and premium. And we've done one thing on the back, we've actually put some blue letters to match the car. I really like the blue. Let's go and have Alex, a look. you want to come round? Now, the one thing about that exhaust is that it does match the wheels, which are obviously satin, which I quite like. Now, I really like that. I think that's a lovely touch. It Brilliant just, blue letters that breaks up that. that it does, carbon. yeah. Obviously, we've changed the badges as well over to um, gloss black AMG G63. And it comes with our little side decal as well, which has got the Urban logo in there. Um, actually looking forward to handing this one over. It's a customer of ours called Dan. Um, he's gonna come, we're gonna do the big reveal. He's agreed that we can film the, the reveal because this is a complete transformation from the standard car. Cause obviously it was base car, 21 inch wheels, loads of chrome on it. Mm. So it should have a big impact. We're hoping, uh, we're looking forward to that tomorrow. So last week, it seems that I've made a bit of a mistake. Um, I actually said to him that yes, we could do some development time. Yes, we could scan his car if he paid for a 3D printed front splitter. And he's actually said yes. That's not a mistake. That isn't a mistake. <laughs> That's a helping you mate, mate out. But I B, was calling your bluff. Oh, I was no, calling no, your bluff. Look, look we, got, we get comments all the time. It's very, very 50-50. Some people like the us messing about with cars and some yeah. people genuinely like the R&D and the development and stuff. So I thought this would be quite a nice little story. Basically, my car is a E-Class Coupe, but it's a facelift and you don't see many. I haven't seen many and because it's a facelift, it's only been out for a year and a bit, but no one has developed any parts for it yet. No, I've... but when I said, if I, we'll scan it and we'll do a 
front splitter for it. I didn't expect you to say yes that you would pay for a 3D. No, I absolutely will. Because I've been waiting a year and a half for someone to bring a splitter out. And what better than making my own splitter? With, Is this the I'll bit where you call out and you say, can, anyway, can no. anyone who's got a large flatbed 3D printer <laughs> right. for promotional work, I'll do your 3D, uh, 3D that's a, print Actually, for you. that's a good shout because I, I don't mind paying for the, like, the, the scanning and the tooling and the design, but I need someone to be able to print this out in one piece for me. So if you've got a 3D scanner that you think a is going to be... 3D printer. 3D printer, sorry, that is going to be long enough to print out a, a splitter. Yeah, um, it's going to be, you know, an, an inch and a half high by probably, I'm, I'm talking in inches, but it's probably going to be about 20 centimetres high and about, what, two metres wide is yeah, the car? Yeah. So, yeah, if you've got a flatbed 3D printer that will print a splitter in one hit, that's yeah. what anyone wants to do. That's exactly it. So I've obviously lowered the car, I've put it on Vossens, I've done a few bits to it, but no one has, has, actually makes any parts for the front the yet because it's so, the car, so you. No, it, exactly yeah, that. Yeah. Now it looks quite aggressive. I just need that, that little splitter. And yeah, I'm excited. I think it's, it's nice. I'll be able to speak to our designer and say like, what, you know, how- And this uh, is where your third video will get the most amount of views in front of everything else that we've done. We've been doing really well lately though. Content has been good. I think so. I like to think views so. Views have yeah. been really good. Yeah, yeah. Engagement's really been, been really good. Lots of nice comments. So we just keep- So we're, we're really just, happy. We just keep it moving. I've got eight and a half hours sleep last night, guys. So yeah, look how literally is, I am bubbly, although I've got a bit of a list because I've got this Invisalign yeah. thing in. So shall we go and have a look Excuse at my car me. and see where, the, yeah, where they are? Are we going to get it on the ramp? Yeah. yeah. Is Justin coming with the scanner? Has Mike got the scanner? Has anyone got the scanner? What? Has anyone got the scanner? Bear with. What are you doing? Let's call him Mike, see if anyone's brought the scanner down. I can call Mike. Mike! Oh. There you go. Oh, there see? he is. <laughs> you don't need to ring him, I can just call him. Has, has anyone anyone got the scanner or shall I go? Shall I? Mike's hair's looking good at the Yeah, moment. yeah. Look, magic Mike's Mike. Hair is magic Mike is back in the game. His hair's looking good. So, shall I call Justin to bring the scanner down? Yeah. Justin! No, that won't work because he's up in the office. Ah. So yeah, there have been some parts developed for the car. So this is a Pan American style front grille, which I changed. Um, I think the springs that I've lowered it on are the same as the pre-face lift. The wheels are obviously made by Vossen, so they're made for the car. There's a lip spoiler um, by Maxton Design, who are obviously really good with splitters and add-on bits like that, but they haven't developed one yet, and there's no sign of it coming soon. And I'm impatient, so that's why I want to do it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. One of one. One of one. one, of one. Yeah, well that's, that's why I wanted to document it. And Cy calling my bluff, like, I, I want to pay for it because it's, it's, it's going to be a cool thing. It's the one thing that's going to finish off my car. Please remember that in last week's video, it was Simon who said he didn't like my calipers with my new wheels. I love them. So I had so many messages over the weekend, people telling me what colour I should have the calipers, when in reality, I'm more than happy I'm with the colour of my car. now. <laughs> really happy with the look of my car now. Did he get his hands dirty? Yeah, all good, mate. You can take her back now. Oh, that's slippy. Yeah, the back one's slid under. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to go underneath there, mate. No. You'd have to come back. It slipped forward. Go down again. Is this the thing that we unboxed the other day, like 26 grand or something? Wait there. Go on. Front raises. What's going on? Go on, go on. No! <laughs> Basically, because he's got to get it up off the floor, he's got to get up onto the, the, the ramps in one hit. Uh, that, that was nearly there. Go on. A little bit more. Right. <laughs> um, you shot both of those through. <laughs> they literally both shot through. I don't want a splitter now. I'm happy. Let's just get it out. Let's oh, just, you've let's got a splitter. Just... Split tire. You've got your climate control here. Oh. Is it hot in there? It's not, it shouldn't be. 24 degrees, Lenny. It was cold this morning, mate. He probably had a sun, sun bed. He, he probably had a sunbed, he's used to the, used to the heat. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Weren't they supposed to turn into a serious? This was meant to be a serious <laughs> R&D, what we're yeah. doing. Oh yeah, you, they're all underneath the car. You've got to start again, mate. Wait a You got the other one, Mark. The front one stay in the same place, yeah? You got it? The front, need the front a bit further back. The, no, 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 no. Like that. no. About there. No, it's got to be oh, underneath got to be the, wheel the wheel now. That's it. Yeah? All right, all good? Yeah, you've got, you've got to basically get up in the air on the first hit. Give it some, man. <laughs> Lit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Near the end. This is what happens when you get a low car cut. How? Exactly. Looks cool though, doesn't it? Looks cool though, doesn't it? It looks cool. But it doesn't look cool at the minute. Maybe I should get air ride. What? Is there a trigger? Wait for that to load up. There's a button. It looks like Johnny Five from, from Short <laughs> Circuit. Do you remember that? Wally. Uh, it could be Wally, yeah. It could, well, it's a Wally holding it. That's well like Wally. <laughs> That's well like Wally. <laughs> Don't look in the camera. I don't want to scan your head. Boo, boo, boo. 3D printed leddies. <laughs> oh my God. Basically, they sell them in the shop. They're like Lego heads. <laughs> Sorry, mate. This was meant to be. I said before we started filming, you just can't help yourself. I said, look, he, we've been messing about the he last actually, few weeks. He pulled, me to, he pulled me to one side and he said, so can we just be serious about this? It's my car, it's my splitter. But I genuinely think people will be he interested. Said, Don't be stupid and all of the rest of it. I genuinely think people will be interested. No, no, no. Because this, this is interesting, interesting because we're actually making a unique one of one part. Yeah, I know. And we're going to end up making it out of MDF. Right. There's stuff on here, yeah. Oh, look, yeah. that's what we've scanned before. We look like we know what, new, what we're doing. Projects. Right, okay. Right. Just might want to speed this little bit up, man. It's... Oh, no, oh, no, no there, there you go. go. It... Right, okay. I did that for you. So, yeah. Now you've got to use this spray because basically the. Is that what you've used on your hair? <laughs> <laughs> look, at, I mean, look at Mr. Eight and a half hour sleep, all lively, like bats, bats, bats. Got loads you know what I mean? Like we're trying to be... I don't know whether I've told you that before, but I've got loads of sleep. Right, okay. Right, so the light bounces off of the gloss, basically, and it doesn't pick it up very well. So you yeah. need to... Right. You could scan it, but obviously, the, like, the great... It's the great... What is it? The resolution? It's not... So black and gloss are the two worst things. to scan. All right, okay. So that's why we have to make it dirty. And you say this just comes off, does it? In about a week. Oh, Mike, you're using the wrong pound, though. <laughs> it's just the white spray paint. Yeah. Right, you bang. <laughs> I didn't... You know what you could do if you want to keep the cost down, Lenny? You not could... do it. No, <laughs> just, just not bother. No, you could, put, you could put a front canard on, which came up with this, which should actually be... I've got the more serious director on the phone. Hi, Chris. I'm, I'm literally, he's, he's I'm probably literally just about what to... What the F in hell is your car doing oh, on the ramp? Yeah we, yeah, we can do it in carbon, Chris. Yeah, that'd be great if we could do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look on Simon's, the look on Simon's face when I said that. <laughs> well, I thought it was going to be like 3D print or plastic. No, no, no. We'll do... Oh, well, look, I said, I said, oh, no, Chris was, thinks it should be in carbon. Yeah. Why? Yeah. If, it, it, if we're not, doing that, we'll have to do the side seals as well. I don't even... There's only one of these in the country and you own it. That's how happy it is to get the full R&D <laughs> This is R&D, Chris. This is good. <laughs> Actually, like, it doesn't have to be exposed carbon, does it? Like, it could, we could do it gloss black. <gasps> make it made the, the, in the most effective way. Exactly that. That's what I think. No, I, I completely agree with Chris. Yeah. I, you're I only agreeing because you think you're going to get it for free now and you don't no, have to pay I'm, for the 3D print. I'm happy to pay. It's, I'm what? happy to pay. But what it's I'm saying good. is, I think putting carbon a carbon Where fiber splitter on a 196 brake horsepower diesel is probably a little bit over the top. But we can make it in carbon, but paint it gloss black, couldn't we? Yeah, about three and a half grand. What? 
Is he, is he, is he on the phone to his mum? Yeah. Is it not even See, Chris? This is why Chris is my favourite out of the two urban directors. Like, he's like, no, OK, well, you know, it's, it's, it's more about the process. It's more about, like, you know, we can make that income. We could do this, we could do that. Whereas you're just rolling, you should sit, like, Stop size, size waving eyes. waving the 26 <laughs> grand scanner around. Size eyes are literally rolling out of his head with him rolling his eyes so much. Yeah, Good. Oh, no. <laughs> right, am I going to get fired now? No. Right, OK. Are we? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Can you speed this up, Alex? Do I keep my finger on the button? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, right, OK. Ready, Ready to scan. Go. Yeah. No, you've got to, it's got to be green. Ah. Yeah, so just click it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you do the distance. When it's green is the best distance. And then you just press the button and go. You've got to press the button, Lenny. Yeah. Right. That's it, it's collecting data now. So as you go around, so you, you will have missed a bit there, but then you've got to go around the corner so you make sure that we get the return. Yeah? Yeah, you're probably a little bit far away, a little bit too close, that's it. And then you want to get in the gap so you make sure, oh, that mother's got my finger. Now go around there and get in, seeing that angle up there. No, you're oh. too clip, you're too near, that's yeah. it. There you go. And you need to make sure that you get the fittings underneath. I don't want to get my finger in the scan, but so I need to make sure. as long as it's green? Yeah, as long as it's green, it's going to collect all the data. So red, you're too near. You used to barbells, mate. Can you not hold that up? Is it like... <laughs> <laughs> this is, this good is good. No, it's good. It's, good. it's interesting. Look, I'm you know, like the scanning the own cup. Why are you giggling? Literally, I'll try. But I said the first thing I said, I was like, I was gonna, we're going to do like a, an interesting R and D. I'm actually getting involved with R and D, and all I'm getting is like one gym. day. I'll, we might scan you just for the back. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Or little little three D letters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There was a time when you would try, would have tried. To yeah, the Lenny like Geezer days. I haven't said that. Like the, <laughs> Little three D Lenny. That, that stuff used to pay for the, the rent. white goods in your house. The, yeah. In short, Lenny's had a little play, and Justin's making it good. Just making sure it's right. Yeah. I wouldn't say a little play. I've done my bit, and then the professionals. Did you enjoy it. that? It's really like it's, it's interesting. It's genuinely interesting. It's funny how it's become it's more back, interesting. It's issue backpedalling. Because up until it's now, he's been like, no, "I'm not interested." Because I'm not interested. it's my car. Yeah. Not, I'm selfish. There was one comment last good, week which I sort of took on board. Someone actually said, "Sai, you need to do the R and D on your own because Lenny's not interested." And, and basically, it's sort and of gone. It's gone too far now. But I'm really impressed with the fact that you're taking this on board. And, Thank you taking things seriously. I've taken this whole vlog no, very it, it seriously. No, it was my idea to, okay. it was my idea to make this about the R&D for the 50% of people who actually like this sort of stuff. So and it, I'm wasn't, genuinely, genuinely it wasn't interested. your idea to make it about R&D because it's your car then? Maybe no? a little bit of that, yeah. yeah maybe a little so. bit of that, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I've got the title for this week's video, Lenny is selfish. That should pull that should pull viewers in, yeah? Title, title for the next video, full carbon kit on the <laughs> class coupe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh well this has been a really fun episode. Yeah. We got it? Yeah, there you go. One two. Right, can I get the side seals out of it as well? Can I take all this off now? What was that, Lenny? Mirror caps? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Look at the base on Roof light bar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Right, so this is one thing that we're working on that's pretty cool. Now, we're putting a couple of Recaros in uh, someone's demo van. It's actually a VW dealer. They're working on like an all singing, all dancing camper for. Um, just like a promotional vehicle. So we're putting a kit on it, but we're also putting two front Recaros in with our cuboid design. This one's actually like, it's put a bit of a spanner in the works because they've got the captain's chairs are actually on a swivel. So normally when we develop a Recaro seat, we've got a, a, a bracket that, that changes the, the, the bottom of the seat and the seat back. But this particular one, it doesn't fit. So we've got to develop something new. So what we're doing here, we've got the Recaro seat, which is obviously, it's, it's got its standard base on here, and this is the, the normal Recaro seat that comes with it. Um, we've got our new leather trim cover, if you can pass that over Dom, my beautiful assistant, thank you. 
Um, and we've got the cuboid design with the red stitch, but what we have to do, we have to send it off to the trim department because the rubber strip on the edge here has to be uh, re-stitched on this so we can get it back into the clips at the back. Um, but the most important thing that we're working on just here, obviously this seat base is completely different to the standard seat base. It's, it's got a, like a, a sort of a release here, which spins the captain's chair around from the front to the back. So when we've done that, we've got to adapt the bottom of this to make it fit to this. So we'll have a cross brace here, which lifts the seat up. So we've got a swiveling Recaro seat. It should be pretty exciting actually, I'm looking forward. Just so you guys know, Dan came in, Dan rung me for an exhaust and he ended up with a full kit. So <laughs> I, I don't know whether he's easy to sell to or we've got fantastic product, but either way, he's ended up with this. Let's show you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm excited, man. It looks the bollocks, mate. It really, yeah. You ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Nah, that is insane. That is a beast, that. that's <laughs> on the wheels as well. So obviously we... It like, looks like a different car, isn't it? Completely different, That's yes. insane. So we've black packed it, you've obviously got black side steps, you've got the full kit with, with forged carbon now, so you've got front splitter and forged bonnet, roof light, rear spoiler and a rear wheel carrier. And on the rear wheel carrier, look, we've done the, we've done the letters in... This is insane. We've done the letters in brilliant blue, so they pulled oh, out on the wow, car. Wow, mate, that's... It's, it's a different level. Hey, that's insane. And even adding that touch to it as well. But look at the Forge car, I love that as it's well. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's different. different. Yeah, it's the first one we've done, so yeah, you've got the exclusive. Mate, this is so sick. Unbelievable, thank you so much. <laughs> this is deep. I'm going show you the exhaust. I'm not just kidding. This is like, this is insane. Can we get the keys? Can we get the keys so we can do the exhaust? The wheels as well, that's, that's sick, that mate. Unbelievable, yeah. Yeah, so if you'd have had that oh, whole black, kit... Black tap the... Yeah, so we've black black tap the yeah, so it's the part yeah, of that side. Yeah, um, If you'd have had that with 21 inch wheels, it would be... Oh, yeah, yeah. It would have been on biscuits. Hey, that looks <laughs> unbelievable. We'd start after that. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'll have a quick look at that before that gets rubbed out. That's not one of the things we've done the piece up. We're just rubbing it in the carpet. No way, that's <laughs> sick. <laughs> Them lights at the top as well, it just it just changes. Yeah, the, the profile the look of the car, yeah. it just like all goes together, yeah. It looks unbelievable. There you go guys, I think I think Dan's happy with that car. <laughs> <laughs> We're just supposed to be finishing this week's episode, so Alex, but we're... Alex from the used car site is over here. Uh, waiting he's going to start customer. blushing in a minute. Though. He's going to start blushing in a minute. <laughs> and we're just talking about, like, he's so rich. Like, used cars at the moment. <laughs> Whereas new vehicle supply. Lend me a fiver, bruv. I baked beans for lunch this afternoon with no toast New in a bowl, cold. We he, didn't, he didn't even want me to put the microwave on because of the lecky bill. <laughs> yeah, electric bill went from five grand a month to 20 grand a month. And I've already sorted it, so anyone from electric company, oh, you know, don't get yeah. in touch. So don't edit yeah. that out because you are going to get a load of emails and that anyway. We mentioned mezzanine flooring. I got two, I got two emails yeah. about mezzanine flooring. Unless um, we ask, leave us alone. Okay, so what what I will ask then, what I will ask then is, has anyone got any wiring looms lying around? Because oh. Audi, BMW, Land Rover, and Porsche apparently have just run out because they're all in Ukraine. So new car shortage going down. So Dead it's all team. about used cars, isn't it, Alex? It is, mate. <laughs> See, Let's no, go downstairs and look at this. Let me just let me just no, let me just touch on this subject. Brett over at Use calls calls me an order taker, but yeah. he must have the easiest job in the world at the moment. Now he has the like, tables are turned. It's yeah. like new new cars gone. Might as well answer the phone while you sat here, mate. Too good for that. Look. Cars, isn't it? Too, too good. <laughs> <laughs> 
thought it was t-shirt weather, but it's not, is it? <laughs> no, it isn't. I might literally, I might hang out here for a little while. Um, anyway, right. What a way to finish this week's video. Yeah, right. We started this video with the blue G wagon. Yeah. And this is, it's my new favorite. Stunning. I don't know why I always yeah, say yeah, that, lovely. but yeah, this is emerald green. Yeah. The customer's gone to town on this car, four before twill. Even done the calipers, all like stealth blacked uh, yeah, out. Yeah, incredible. And it's so subtle that you can just see on there the AMG oh, sign. Can't have a wallpaper. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got the, your wallpaper is the new colour. The new colour, yeah. Yeah, that um, yeah. Through. How stunning is that? So emerald green calipers. Emerald Beautiful. green, four before twill on every extra indicator surround, wing mirrors. You've got the exposed edges on the arches of the wide track. So yeah, so what better way to finish this week off with a video of the overview of this after we've done the blue one and we'll see you next week.